moving into position. When we focus too much on the when is this going to happen, we then move to making it happen because we want it now. That pulls us out of proper alignment. Moving ahead of God, trying to take the wheel ourselves. That's why God will move in the opposite direction. We are the cause of our own suffering at times because we always want to get ahead. We always want that microwavable approach because we don't have the patience to just wait, which leads to our frustration and our anger and leaves us looking and wondering what went wrong. Same with our children, for example. Just as it is our job to see what they cannot see. The best way to teach them something when they get to the age of feeling as, know they, as feeling as though they know everything or they know more than you as a parent. We move in a new direction, but we also move in the opposite direction because we want our children to understand. They may not understand the things how we were always able to understand. With technology, COVID stopping so many things and just the world itself has changed so much for this new generation and generations to come. We can already see it before them because we have the experience. We sometimes know what they're thinking before they even do anything. And it's the same with God because he lives inside us. He knows our thoughts, which he activates our intuition. That little voice inside your head that says, I shouldn't be doing this. Or when you can see all the red flags, but you still choose to keep going. I'm sure we all are guilty of that, even as adults. Children and young adults, they often assume life is predictable falling into a routine, getting too comfortable, knowing that that next meal is coming, knowing clothes will be on their backs. They'll get to these places that they need to go because they never have to think about those things and rightfully so. Therefore, they don't know how to factor those things in, but it becomes our jobs to to teach them Some may call it tough love. Others will say, I need to make you uncomfortable in order for you to move. Being too comfortable causes complacency. That's why God does the exact same thing. We get too comfortable. We start moving too fast, feeling as though we got this. I can just make it happen for myself. Or maybe I'll sit around and do nothing and just be okay where I'm at knowing that you actually want more. That's when he moves in the opposite direction to shake things up a bit in order to get you to move. Some may grow too confident and then they move off course. Just as we have that double yellow line on the road indicating that we cannot go around any car in front of us that's driving too slow We must stay in our lane no matter what, otherwise there will be consequences. Again, it's the same with God. We sometimes get too ahead of ourselves and God will wake us up by rerouting us, setting up detours and delays. But understand, it's still for our benefit. That's the resonance of alchemy. You are creating and becoming who you truly want to be. We can have our eye on the prize and see it and know where we want to end up, yes. But we have to master the level we are currently on and move towards it and not try to jump into it before it's time. That's how we obtain the dreams 
that we have always been dreaming. If we move too soon, we cause our own suffering because it's not time. But as we learn ourselves and master self-control, self-awareness, and true authenticity, you may find your dreams changing just as you are changing. We are all human, so we will have days where we don't want to wait. But when we allow God to surprise us, we find that the wait was definitely well worth it. He will wrap us up so far into our purpose. He will keep us busy and take our minds off of what's coming. He will make sure we focus on where He needs us. He moves us into the, into the position of receiving. He na- needs us to prepare to receive. Because without proper preparation, we will ruin the blessing. For some, even asking for help is hard. We may fall into wanting to do it on our own or always trying to do it on our own. Some may not know how to ask for help because they never received it. But He, He will bring it and move you into that position for receiving it. Have any of you ever started a new job or met new people that actually challenge you. You may feel they're rude or mean, too hard on you. Those are your destiny helpers. We have to go through conditioning, building endurance and preparation. If that new job you may not be feeling, or that new school you never wanted to attend, it may be your blessing in disguise. It was meant to challenge you, to bring more of what is already inside of you out. The more uncomfortable we are, the harder we try. That job, the school, those new people in your life, we need that challenge. Because when we're too comfortable, we don't move. God is saying, I don't need you to be comfortable. I need you to learn. We learn by being uncomfortable because nothing gets us moving and thinking more than when we're uncomfortable. If you've ever been in a relationship you no longer want to be in or with a company you cannot stand, you will do some serious thinking all day, every day, just to get out of that situation. And nothing will get you thinking harder than when you're in a situation like that. You will think of absolutely everything under the sun. And then you finally realize it's a lot more out here. And I never would have known or even thought of it had I not gone through this. That is the power of God. That is Him moving you into position And sometimes moving you in the opposite direction because he knows you wouldn't see or understand the things you now know. If it wasn't for those storms and that turmoil, you would have never gone through, you would have never gotten to where you are now. You would have never been able to see it. You would have never been able to obtain where you are now, whether it be mentally, physically, or emotionally. But now you know. So when you start feeling uncomfortable and unsure about things, keep building that intimate relationship with God because more blessings are coming no matter how big or how small. The more you realize who you are, the more you will understand why things aren't happening when or how you want them to. There is a blessing in every heartache. 
There is a blessing that comes with all the pain. There is a blessing with every tear shed. There is a blessing inside every storm that comes. And there is a blessing with every breath we take. The heartache, the pain, the tears, and the storms. They teach us the lessons he cannot physically teach us himself. So we learn to embrace each lesson because the blessings will soon be revealed. We just have to know when to be still and allow him to move us into divine position. Be still and allow God to move you. Stay blessed. <laughs>